How was tobacco used by natives in the U.S. before contact? We all know that tobacco comes from indigenous Americans, but smoking it was not the only way that they used it. It is widely insufflated or inhaled or blown up the nostrils among indigenous South Americans. The Kwayasu actually used it mostly orally, usually only smoking it before bed or for ceremonial uses. But oral or nasal use of tobacco can't be done with just the tobacco leaves. You have to treat it with the chemical lime to raise its pH so it can be absorbed by the oral mucosa. Indigenous peoples throughout the Americas figure this out making lime by burning shells or pit firing limestone or travertine. This cooks carbon dioxide out of the calcium carbonate leaving quick lime which you can basically trap for use by getting it wet and drying it leaving you with slaked lime. The common tobacco is Nicotiana tobaccum which is probably native to the Andes in South America. This is the commercial tobacco that you can buy anywhere. Aztec tobacco Nicotiana rustica is up to nine times more nicotine than in common tobacco and was historically cultivated by indigenous peoples in North and South America. It's usually known as mapacho when smoked and rapé when snuffed, but it was also drunk as a juice or administered via enema. And there are many other Nicotiana species including five native to the U.S. and ten more introduced ones. And the Kawaiasu, whose historical territory was just east of Bakersfield, California, highly prized the local native wild tobacco species, Indian tobacco, or Nicotiana quadrivalvis. Coyote tobacco, Nicotiana attenuata, was also found in the area, but it was hardly worth their time compared to the much more potent Indian tobacco. The Kwayasu appear to have gathered the plant wild, though they also sometimes burned and weeded areas to improve plant growth. The dried leaves were powdered in a bedrock mortar, with the finest powder being sifted out with a basketry tray. Smoking was typically only done at nighttime to induce sleep and dreams or for ceremonial use. To use it orally, a piece of the plug was broken off, ground in a small matate, and mixed with lime. Historically, lime was made by roasting shells on an open fire or pit firing limestone rock or travertine, then adding water to form a paste that was dried into a cake that could be easily powdered. The tobacco and lime was mixed in a small stone bowl and was tasted to check the proper proportions. To administer the powder, it was licked or it was moistened, rolled into small pellets, and placed in the mouth. The juice was spat out or swallowed. The smoking and oral use of pellets were both soporific, sleep-inducing, and commonly used as such. Tobacco was used for recreational, medicinal, and ceremonial purposes. The powder was also applied to cuts to stop bleeding and on insect bites to stop itching. It was insufflated to induce sneezing for a stuffy nose and headache relief, or inserted into ears for earache, or wrapped in cloth and held on a toothache for relief, or swallowed to cause vomiting. A pellet was placed on the end of a long willow stick that was rammed into a rattlesnake's mouth to render it lifeless. 